Florida springs are really a natural wonder. The water is crystal clear, a cool 72 degrees year-round, and, by the way, they provide most of our drinking water. And as we celebrate Earth Week, Amanda Holly spoke with a local organization working to explore and preserve the quality of them. Thanks, Stacey. Yeah, millions of tourists head to these springs in the hot Florida summers, mostly to cool off and relax, but there's more to them than what emerges at the mouth of the spring. I know because I've seen it. This is me, diving through the Ginny Springs underwater cave system. These underground hidden rivers flow beneath our feet and make up the Floridan aquifer. Its walls are comprised of porous limestone known as karst. Pristine water winds through these tunnels, eventually flowing out of 700 different spring heads in Florida. There are hundreds of thousands of miles of caves that we currently know about. And the fact that we're still finding more and still exploring it means there's still probably, I would guess, the, the majority we still haven't found. Andy Pitkin is an exploration diver with Karst Underwater Research. KUR is dedicated to exploring, mapping, and raising awareness that these underground caves exist. Everything that falls on the ground and goes into the ground ends up in the aquifer and ends up becoming part of our drinking water. The aquifer makes up 90% of our drinking water. Brett Hemphill, the director of KUR, is worried. I have seen a lot of things change here in Florida in the last 30 years. The caves are degrading due to excess fertilizer and runoff into sewer systems. It concerns me. Like I said, um, there's a, an invasive algae in, most, in almost all of our springs now called Lingbia. It doesn't belong there, and it's almost impossible to get rid of. KUR is creating a baseline for these springs so scientists can keep track of their health and quality. You can help with the water quality by using slow-release fertilizers and as little as possible. Down there, I've seen that some springs are still healthy, but some have that overgrowing algae. So we all need to work to together to kind of protect this unique natural resource. Boy, it, uh, A, that looks really cool. <laughs> that looked like a great trip and a great story for you. But where do those caves end up? Yeah, they, they are scattered all about the entire state of Florida. Most of them actually travel under large cities and homes and businesses. So that's why we really want to protect these springs because we don't want to degrade the quality of that karst. Absolutely not. Perfect story for Earth Day. Thanks, Amanda.